We're keeping tabs on what is going to be happening at the Bombers of Kenya. Now, Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki has defended security agencies against accusations by the opposition that the police have taken political sides. Kindiki says, contrary to claims, security agencies have been instructed to remain apolitical and to concentrate on their key mandate of protecting the lives and property of all Kenyans. Alpha, Alpha. Speaking of the abundant new life church in Nyeri, Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kithure Kindiki urged politicians to avoid violence and instead embark on dialogue. Kindiki warned that no one would be allowed to terrorize or blackmail Kenyans. Hiyo masungumzo isipo faulu. Kusiwe mtu atatishia watu, watu tena ati kwa sababu yale masungumzo atujazikizana ati sasa tunarudi kuumiza raia. So the people of Nyeri, the people of Kenya, the country is safe. This even as he came to the defense of security officers, indicating that they are going to steer clear of politics and concentrate on their mandate. Na mwishwa raisa mes tuamurisha tusitumie vyombo vya kiusalama na silaha na nguvu ambayo tukonayo ya usalama wa taifa kuumiza wananchi wasio atia wasio na atia ama kukandamiza watu kwa njia za kisiasa Opposition leaders that criticize the Inspector General of Police over the handling of protests in the country Alevo mi Inspector General ambaye anasema viongozi wanaweza kwenda na kurend mili yani kununua mili kwa mog that is why I'm saying under Act Chapter 6 of the Laws of the Constitution of Kenya, he completely falls short and he should resign. The CSA's violence should never be part of the question. Aita wezekana tena katika taifa la Kenya. Mwana siyasa yeyote, haijalishi yako na nguvu kiasi gani, hawa upande wa upinzani, hawa upande wa serikali, atuta kubali, Mtu yeyote ya siyasa tena kuaribu mali kuumiza wananchi kuleta vifo akijizingizia yeye ati ni siyasa anafanya. The bipartisan talks between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio La Umoja Coalitions will start officially on Monday, August the 14th. Serafina Robi for Sunday Express. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa says the proposed reforms in the education sector will re-engineer the learning environment to meet emerging socio-economic development demands of the country. Speaking on Sunday, Nandi County Gashagwa said the reforms will refocus and